You know, this story might not even be a story because it only happened in Tasmania. Nobody knows about it on the mainland. It's very rare, though, for people to be sent down without a body, uh, without a weapon and only circumstantial evidence. But this story could have completely submerged except for an indefatigable documentary maker called Eve Ash. And she's for all the world like a little Miss Marples with a video camera. And she has followed this for years and she's obsessed. She has a situation room, almost like a stalker might have, a situation room with photos and arrows and it's completely confusing. But she has about 10 different cases that I will admit are just as likely as that the woman in jail committed the crime. You're narrowing it down now to a mere 10 plausible theories. What are they? Well, there's the family possibility and their DNA inexplicably there. There's the... So home. someone in the family might have done it and that's why Sue went back and lied to the police. There's the homeless men who were in the area and have the means, the boat. There's the homeless teenager whose DNA is on the boat and she hangs out with young offenders who steal from boats and she lied about her whereabouts. Okay. There's the vendetta of a past situation with threats and a person who could have a motive. Someone could have been out to get them. There's the drug theory. The drug theory. That the boat was used and brought drugs down and there was a drug bust where it came from. And the so bad guys went onto the boat to get their drugs back and found Bob. The one that I thought at first was that maybe Bob did suicide, but he would have had to have sabotaged the yacht. And it just doesn't ring true, but it can't be ruled out. The interesting thing for everyone, all of us in this democracy, is if you can be put away without a body, with conflicting evidence, with no weapon, and just a theory in the mind of the DPP, then are we safe?